Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to install Eclipse on your Windows operating system. So let's start. At first, go to your favorite browser and type Eclipse download for Windows. Then go to the first link. Below you can see the download button uh, for Eclipse ID 2023-06 version. Uh, your version may change depends on the year which you are downloading. And so click on this download button. Now again click on the download button. And you can see the download will start. But since I have downloaded it previously, I will cancel it and I will go to my download section. As you can see, Eclipse.exe file is already downloaded, so I will double click on this file. As you can see, Eclipse installer is opening. As you can see, Eclipse installer has opened and the versions are available. You choose the one which you want. If you are a beginner, complete beginner, then you can click on this Eclipse ID for Java developers. But I will choose to install this Enterprise Edition. So I will click on this one. As you can see, this Eclipse ID will be installed inside the users folder, inside your names folder, inside Eclipse folder. Then click on install. Installation has started. You have to wait for some minutes. Now if this box opens, click on this box beside unsigned and click on this box also. And then yes, I accept the risk button. Click on it. Then click on trust selected. After that, Click on launch button. As you can see, Eclipse ID is opening. Then select the directory for your workspace. As you can see, Eclipse workspace is the folder inside which the project folders will be saved. It is inside the C directory. If you want to change, you can browse and change the directory. But I would suggest you to keep it as it is and click on the launch button. As you can see, Eclipse ID is loading. It will take some time. As you can see, the Eclipse ID has opened. If you have never installed Eclipse ID before, then a welcome page will appear. You have to just click on the cross on the top left side. Then the welcome page will disappear and this side panel will be empty. As you can see, I have a project previously in management system and server. This will not show in your case because you have installed it for the first time after that now to create your first java project you have to click on this file option on the top then click on new then click on java project you can create maven project also but i am just showing you for java project here you have to give the name of the project i will give as device suppose and then uh, as you can see uh, use default location it is the default location and this is the Java AC 16 version and then click on finish okay as you can see the device project has appeared this is the SRC file inside the SRC folder you can right click and create a new class file new and then class and I would give the name as hello world click on public static void main it will create the main function for you and this is the java file i can just print something hello world and semicolon save then i can run it run as java application as you can see hello world is printed on the console so yeah this is how you install eclipse on windows and be sure that you have the jdk installed in your system as you can see uh, uh, as you have seen when i was creating the file there was java ac uh, 16 version so make sure that you have the jdk 
installed in your system and all the class paths set properly and correctly so yeah that's it thanks for watching my video have a nice day